Okey, sekarang ni saya berada di pekarangan Seri Pentas dan um, ya yeah, memang uh, di Seri Pentas ni sekarang ni kami memang bercakap mengenai pasangan suami isteri ni yang cukup menakjubkan ya yeah, dan uh, mereka telah menjelajah uh, hampir 73 negara uh, sepanjang uh, Huh, kalau nak tengokkan laluannya 350,000 km Dan saya perkenalkan ini dia uh, Simon dan juga Lisa Hello, welcome to Malaysia Selamat Lisa. pagi oh, okay, Selamat pagi, hi Simon Good morning, thanks for having us here uh, okay. Baiklah, uh, ini dia pasangan yang telah pun uh, memulakan perjalanan mereka uh, se uh, Sejak 2003 Why? Why have you left everything, your job, uh, your home and to go on this uh, expedition? I think that's the first difficult question, mm -hmm. so I'll let my husband answer oh, that. Okay, Simon. <laughs> okay. Um, the sensible answer is mm -hmm. we were um, successful at home to a degree, but there yeah. was one particular year where mm -hmm. my mother was told she had breast cancer. Yeah. Um, Lisa's father underwent a, a very large surgery mm -hmm. and I had a motorcycle accident. Mm -hmm. And. Um, We've been talking about a very last trip for a long time, for 18 months, mm -hmm. and thought if we don't do it now, we we're going to regret not doing it if the chance is gone. Mm -hmm. And we initially left for yeah. just 18 months. Yeah. Initially, initially, what was it supposed to be? It's just like one, two countries or something? No. Uh -huh. We actually thought, uh -huh. I think it was quite naively, really, <laughs> uh -huh. um, 18 months, two-year career break, put everything uh -huh. on hold, go mm -hmm. and see 122 countries right. in 18 months. Wow, amazing. That was the aim. I think um, uh -huh. I think we hadn't realized just how far and how difficult some of the countries mm. would be to, to traverse. And we're still working on the 122 at the moment. And uh -huh. all seven continents. Our ambitions, right. our ambitions that uh, we started with were 122 countries, right. all seven continents, mm -hmm. to ride from the most northerly point to the most southerly point on yeah. each continent. Uh, yeah. And there was a number of world records. I think there's four. I know two we've already smashed, um, mm -hmm. and Guinness have told us we'll have those at the end of the journey. Mm -hmm. We can claim them now, but of yeah. course we're only halfway through, so yeah. there'll be even more miles at the end. Mm -hmm. um, all that's changed is the, the time frame. We had no idea we'd still be travelling nine years later. Wow, amazing. <laughs> okay, uh, and I am sure, you know, for all the countries that you've been to, there are challenges and you have encountered difficulties and unforgettable experience. Uh, do you, uh, have you encountered any grueling experience? Apart um, from maybe extreme weather or... The most grueling experience is we wanted to be the uh, first large motorcycles to do a particular route in the Amazon jungle, uh, right. in which we succeeded. Mm -hmm. um, it was nearly the end of me. On the morning of the second day, one of the very rotten bridges that I was traveling, trying to get across right. collapsed, and the result was I fell three meters headfirst into the undergrowth. Oh my God. Um, and to make a very long, mm -hmm. long story shorter, yeah. the result was four days of bike repair no uh -huh. assistance because we have no no sponsors there's no there's no financial sponsors no there's no no backup and i broke my neck uh, looking at your loved one <laughs> in pain well, how did you cope? <laughs> how did you cope, lisa well i saw him lying there and i hadn't uh -huh. realized at that point that he right. had broken his mm -hmm. neck he was mm -hmm. unconscious and i thought mm, what do i do first okay yeah. first i must look at the bike now yeah. that sounds really callous i didn't All mean right. that i thought yeah. the bike was going to fall on him so look uh -huh. at the bike first yeah then i thought oh dear he doesn't seem like he's breathing he was breathing I did mm -hmm. check that he was alive, but then I could do no more. I couldn't move him. Mm -hmm. How long um, was it before we got to hospital? Oh, it was uh -huh. uh, 23 days. And then wow. we found out that he'd mm. broken his neck. Yeah. But 23 know, days. 23 okay, days. Uh, at the same time, while we're talking right now, Lisa and Simon, we have some pictures, some footages. If you can have a look at that, perhaps you would like to explain ah. to us where was that? This is some what footage happened? from um, the Gobi, um, right. from Mongolia, um, uh -huh. which was a stunning place yeah. to travel through. Yeah. Uh, very, I read very about raw. Gobi in, in geography, <laughs> and you get to go there. Wow. We, we had expectations <laughs> uh -huh. about Mongolia and right. about the Gobi okay. Desert, and they were all met and surpassed. Right. Um, the culture, the people, the riding was mm -hmm. incredibly mm -hmm. demanding, lots of sand, mm -hmm. but the warmth, the enthusiasm and the sheer untamed beauty yeah. of Mongolia as a whole was, uh, was inspiring. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. And going back to what happened at the Amazon, right? Um, did it ever occur to you, okay, Simon, probably this is it. Let's pack and go back. Or you said no stopping. Well, it's strange you should say that because when say we what actually you really thought. Oh, uh, makes tell me, sound me the so truth. Bad. <laughs> um, when we actually arrived back at the uh. hospital and we had the diagnosis, the shock mm -hmm. horror. Uh -uh. The shock horror wasn't really that he'd broken his neck. It right. was the shock horror that <gasps> the trick is finished. 
I don't want it, want it right. to finish. You want to go on? I want yeah. to go on. I've been blackmailing her with that <laughs> ever <laughs> since. Exactly. Uh -huh. You did actually feel the same. Uh -huh. It wasn't his first reaction to go, right. oh my goodness, uh -huh. I've broken my neck. I need to go back to the mm -hmm. UK to recuperate, etc. His first aim was, mm -hmm. okay, let's get the surgery done. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's get back on the road. Right. And I so we did. Of, I think a lot of people actually naturally expected us to call everything a yeah. halt yeah. And, and go back to the UK. Yeah. But at that point, we had nothing left. We, mm -hmm. We've sold everything to make it happen. And in our minds, we knew there were going to be difficulties. Mm -hmm. It was going to be a challenge. Uh -huh. We needed to get on with it, overcome it, yeah. and get on with living life. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Lisa, but you had a fall as well, right? I've yeah. had a few falls. Mm -hmm. um, ne never anything serious. Yes, yeah. um, falls that have uh, knocked me unconscious. Mm -hmm. um, falls that have knocked the wind out of me. Because these this are is, falls you have had. These yeah. are falls that I have had. I don't know what's <laughs> yeah. coming. Um, and yeah. when this bike falls mm -hmm. on you, mm -hmm. I mean, th this bike is around 310, 320 yes, yes. kilograms. It's huge. Massive. Oh, look. Um, yeah, look, look, look at that. <laughs> When it actually falls uh -huh. on you, it really does wind you. Yeah. So you mm -hmm. take a few minutes to, to recover, mm -hmm. and then I ask my husband to pick my bike up because he's big and strong. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. um, and then we carry on. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I've never broken anything. Mm -hmm. In fact, I've never broken anything. Mm -hmm. So touch wood, mm -hmm. that will continue. Okay, I was, I was made to understand that you don't have a crew to go on with you. So who actually captured this uh, beautiful footage? Basically, any footage that has myself mm. in the shot, Lisa's uh -huh. taking, anything right. with Lisa, yeah. I'm taking. If there's shots where we're both in, it's a tripod. Mm. There's no backup crew, there's no financial sponsors, there's no photographers, there's no videographers. And it's there's not no a hindrance. Um, it's and a it's huge amount of work. Yeah. But you know what, one of the, one of the motivation uh, mm. points for, for maintaining this traveling impetus yeah is the desperate desire to want to share. We right. feel so lucky and so privileged to be doing this together. I think mm -hmm. it's very natural to want to share it. So it's a huge amount of work. Mm -hmm. But the, the thrill we get back yeah. from the reactions we see of people saying, wow, Mongolia, wow, the Sahara, wow, wow the Amazon. It's worth it. Mm -hmm. And also, I think that having a crew around you, the mm -hmm. local people will back off just slightly. Right, they, they shun away, yeah? Yeah, yeah. with yeah. it just being me and the husband. Right. People are more open, they're, they're more welcoming, mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're less yeah. afraid to approach us. And, mm -hmm. and so we get to know the people, we get to know the country really, mm -hmm. really well. And that is why we do the trip. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. not only because we love motorbikes and mm -hmm. we love riding, mm -hmm. it's we want to see the world for ourselves. Mm -hmm. You see such a, a lot on TV that yeah. produces bad images. Mm -hmm. And really, we've seen nothing but good and yeah. friendliness. You get a few bad people in every mm -hmm. single country, but right. the majority of the world is spectacular. People mm -hmm. are generous to a fault. Mm -hmm. um, they are hospitable, um, yeah. incredibly proud of their countries, warm and welcoming. Um, mm -hmm. And that's been that's been the theme for the whole journey. We had some problems, but the majority of people mm -hmm. are looking what, what at getting... What kind of problems? Um, we've had a few instances of physical attack shown to us, um, oh. but those have normally been extreme situations and often because somebody was already incredibly wound up or frustrated yeah. for some other reason when we just found ourselves mm -hmm. in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah. And then it's just a case of assessing the situation, trying to calm things down mm -hmm. and uh, not being a hero and, and making it out safely. Right. Um, but they've been few and far between. Mm -hmm. Well, which part of the country that you have your longest stay? Uh, well, that's a good question. Huh? Well, we were in Brazil. There must be a reason why. <laughs> well, yes, <laughs> <a> hospital. <laughs> we were in Brazil for quite a long time. And we intended to be in Brazil quite okay. a long time because okay. it's such a huge country. Yeah. And mm -hmm. only a small portion of it actually uh -huh. has decent roads and through yeah. the Amazon, no roads, etc. Mm -hmm. um, but then, of course, Simon was recuperating. Mm -hmm. And that gave us the chance to, to really get to know Brazil very, very well. We were mm -hmm. living there when yeah. he was recuperating. Yeah. Um, we spent quite a while in Argentina. Mm -hmm. um, and we actually spent quite a while between India and Nepal. Yeah, right. Um, waiting out the, uh, waiting out the monsoon.